I got brides in Atlanta, just to me in the family, credit cards in the scams, getting the licks in the band, legacies. Yo guys, uh, that's me and back and today we're doing day three progression on the controller. I I figured out how to edit instantly as you know, like I changed a few of my settings too, but look, I can I can like like you s like where the little bar is, it's not there anymore, I could just edit super fast. Um, I can show you here. Here are my nineties, um my nineties on this is my third day. My nineties are really good so far. Um yeah, uh this is me editing down. Um Yeah, um and you might be wondering like why are you saying like this is me? Um I recorded and I realized my mic was muted so I'm going to, I kinda had to uh well, you know, didn't have any audio, so I'm recording the audio now. So, uh, yeah, you can see me editing. It goes so much faster without the circle. Like, you saw where, like, the circle was before in my latest videos. So, like, it's like a little bar. And, like, the, um, um, what's it called? The edit. Behind it, you can see how my edit is left stick. Uh, there used to be a little bar that circled around L, but it's not there anymore. Instead, it goes for reset. And that's always a nice thing to have, right? Yeah, so you can see my wall edits here, here are um, pretty flawless, to be honest. Here, I'm gonna 90 more. Um, I'm gonna try to show you my 90s um, because, you know. 90s, my 90s have gotten a lot better since day two even. Um, I'm trying to do spider 90s now, but you can't, can't really do that. I did it once. I'm gonna do it again and get stuck under the stair. I'm going to practice that. I'm going to edit down more now. This is like a really fast time I did it. Um, without that little bar that's with the L stick, it's so much more helpful than just fucking having to wait for you editing like it's so much more helpful and it's actually so nice to have but um yeah um okay so i'll show you what i mean but later i thought i was gonna show you now but nope albert Chaito doesn't have to show you um i'm going to edit down one more probably oh no kids predict the future uh, I'll show you my like you see where that is you see right where my pickaxe cursor is there used to be a little bar that went around but now it's not there anymore that's what I mean by bar and so it's not there anymore if you want to know what I'm talking about you can go to my stream oh I just did some 90s pretty, pretty good there I got stuck under my stair I need a patch just not getting stuck under my stair I think that's either ping problem or just I'm not doing it right. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I just need to get better at that. Um, uh, um yeah, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna be practicing my 90s and then editing them down to just show you. Cause I just love this edit. So like, it doesn't do that bar. So I have to wait for edits. And plus I have edit on release too. So that's go also going to be very helpful. Especially since um, I put edit on release because it helped me edit like 25% faster. So let's say we have 100%, right? Have 100% editing speed or 100% non editing speed. So we want to take that low as we can. So the edit on release is 25% because you don't have to click the button to confirm it. Plus, this edit is like maybe take it away 30 maybe even 40 percent of it so that is a 65 percent difference so now i edit 45 percent so i 65 percent faster with just those things and um as you can see right now actually i am doing really good with the edits um 
I just love the uh, little thing that helped because it's um, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to get rid of it um, I'll do a tutorial uh, video just let me know in the comments and um, I'll do a I'll show you how but if you don't want me to show you how cuz you know I'm not very good at commentating um, you can uh, just look it up. Just look up. Oh, notification time. You can just look up how to remove edit delay, and then there's a thumbnail where it shows like this. Um, oh my god, I failed on my 90 so bad. That is very sad. Um, there's a, a video where it shows this guy editing a wall, and it shows like a line, and then it shows like 0 0.25 seconds, and then it shows another the right half it showed immediate like a word immediately so yeah but now what I want to talk about is skill based matchmaking um once I get around day five maybe even before then because today's already day three um, I might do some solo squads because they removed skill based matchmaking Yes, they removed skill based matchmaking, not in solos or duos, which is pretty awful, but they did do it in squads, so I could do solo squads uh, without getting um, over, like, outplayed or, like, just people that are being way too good, especially when I'm trying to just learn. Oh my gosh, do you see those 90s? Holy! This is what I was doing before. So, like, here, I, like, I keep on tr trying to do it. Like, you see there? I, there again, I, like, there again, I keep, I leave a, uh, little wall there, but yeah, I, d those ninjas are actually pretty good. Okay, so, skill-based matchmaking, I'm probably going to show a lot of videos of me being on controller, on, um, skill-based, uh, squads, because, it, dude, it's just so, so nice to not be outplayed every game being on controller so yeah you saw me right there editing the um the, f the roof and the uh floor right there the roof and pyramid um i just that's just because of the edit dude i can't stress on how much it is or how important it is especially if you're first trying to have that off just have that all like oh my god it's so helpful i'll do a tutorial on it it's just it's so good um now i'm going to show you my combat skills soon pretty soon i think um these i've been just trying to building and editing skills but my combat skills have been getting really good lately too but Usually, before I do combat skills, I do building skills first. So, basically what I do is lay on this video for the first thing. I do builds and edits, and then I do combat. But if you want me to switch up, do combat, and then builds and edits, and like these kinds of videos, then uh, just let me know. And, um, yeah, so what I usually pr pr prioritize, like, I prioritize this in sections. What I do is I go five days building and editing and like getting my keybinds all set up, then five to ten trying to get high ground on like build battles and stuff, just trying to do stuff. Then ten to fifteen, I try combat. I just go full on aim assist wild and just go. So before I go into any more, you can see me now switching over to going to lobby to get to, um, I'm going to do a, um, creative, um, yeah. So from day 15 to 20, what I do is I usually mostly prioritize 15 to 20 on just practicing kind of not really high ground root takes, but just trying to get high ground over people so like in pubs or like bill battles or just like 1v1 box fights even i just try to get height 
on people or try to outplay them and overpower them everything I can to defeat my enemy in combat <laughs> um and then from 25 or I mean not 25 to 20 to 25 I just <laughs> I honestly just review all the things I learned I go back go to the first thing I started on from day five from one to five what I do is editing and building I just practice my editing and building and then maybe some of that too I practice my combat skills too and then from 25 to 30 um I'm basically sad. I just uh, just go into creative for about two or three hours a day just to practice all the things I've been doing and then like do like some creative fills to do aim practice my aim and yeah you need to look at the background watch when I click um go to creative watch so like I am about to click play and then go to play creative I'm gonna go yeah, play creative right there and watch you see that dude that's a cool little background that they added Okay, time to go in and test my combat. My combat's been getting really good, especially sent, especially ever since I first started patrol. Because people might be like, "Oh no, aim assist, dude! Aim assist is good." Like, come on. What would you do with not aim assist? If you're on patrol, and I think really why people stress over aim assist because. Control players need it. They're li like keyboard mouse players literally have like 80 plus keys to work with. Plus, they also have a mouse that has between like fucking one, two. Let me count my mouse buttons for now. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have like 86 plus buttons to just work with. And controller players, let's see, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14 buttons. I'm not gonna count the PS. They have 14 buttons. Most people even use plus 86 on keyboard and mouse. It's it's just crazy to work with against. So I'm pretty sh like they're pl plus control players are playing on literally analog sticks. And PC players are playing on a keyboard complete keyboard all right so yeah that's why i think aim assist because people get really good on controller because they used to just this stuff so i'm going to show you my aim i kind of l2 here oh just got lasered um but yeah i think controller players need aim assist like i think it's a necessity to play out controller like the reason why they haven't took it out completely is because they uh, good controller players and stuff still need it. I'm just L2 this guy. Yeah. Oh, this one man. Watch, watch, watch this. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, that guy is actually a pretty good laser, and, um, that's proof that they, um, nerfed aim assist. Did you just see that? They, there was not one bullet that hit him. I thought there was inside of his body. Alright, um, uh, I'm gonna edit. Watch my edits, watch my edits. Boom, boom. And then boom, I miss. And then I just triple dink him, dude. I triple dink him, dude. I love triple dinking, especially with controller. Especially, it feels so satisfying. Alright, um, um, loading into a different game. Alright, there's a, oh, that guy has a personal vendetta with me, to be honest. Looked at me and it was like, oh, I'm coming for it. Joke it. I'm gonna hit him for 100. He hits me 400. Exchange shots, basically like a ricochet. And I eat a fish. He's about to stare. I'm doing that. Excuse me. Alright, this. Now I'm approaching this other guy. Looks like a. What's good as that? I can hear him. I'm trying to build a box so I don't get. He's coming behind! He's coming behind! It is a 
Midas, he overpowers me. Damn. I guess that's what happened, but it always happens to people. But yeah, those are my building, editing, and combat skills that I've learned over the past three days. And uh, yeah, for me, I didn't make progress. My friends also said I made a lot of progress on day two, even. And so yeah. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I've been sliding out of Elena to the dash, dash. Shorty know I only care about the cash, cash. Big bands, big sticks, big rash. She asked me how I got it, said I got it like that. I get it when I wanna smoke it.